hello everyone in this video we're gonna learn about merging the tables now you go you're gonna say what is new in this so here we're gonna do that dynamically what does that mean i'm going to explain it to you over here so here let's say you haven't given one table and the second table if you have a look both of these two tables structure are exactly same just the values are different okay now when you merge this the output which you get is this if you notice the value of these two columns in the first table has been replaced by the value of these two columns in the second table and the output it looks something like this if you observe this is what you will find but the output which we want is something like this what exactly we need is we need both of these two columns values as it is in the output populated something like this so what is the solution you can simply say that boss we can just rename the columns in the second table or maybe in the first table and then we can do the merging and we would have the output produced right and both of these two things will be over here i mean these two columns from the first table will also be available and from second table will also be available so exactly what this is what we want right then why this video is required this video is going to be required because just in case if you think you have been given all these kind of tables or even the tables which has many more columns let's say 100 columns which are common in both of the two tables. so when you merge this and when you rename that manually that's going to be a pathetic thing and if you have to do that again and again very frequently that again going to be very pathetic thing so let's jump to the sas and try to see how can we fix this particular thing not fix i mean how can we solve this particular thing okay so here we are in the sas window and let's try to follow the process whatever is we are going to achieve this thing in four stages first we will create a rename string then we will do this then this then this okay so let's try that let's start with that okay before that i would just like to like you to have a view on the tables which we're gonna use so these are two tables exactly which we were discussing right these two tables we are just going to merge how are we gonna do that do that first let's start writing the macro macro merge tables and in this the parameter which we're going to accept is library name data one then data two and then the merge key this is what we're going to accept right and then over here we're going to mend this macro what is wrong macro spelling is not correct okay so and after that we're gonna call this particular thing right so which will be merge tables in this we're gonna use the library name which is la and then data one is jan data two is feb and the merge key which we're gonna use is type so let me show it to you what is the merge key this particular variable this type column basis on this we want to merge these two tables okay so that's gonna come over here now the first thing which it says to create is create rename string so how can i create that so if you have not seen the particular video i have created a separate video which covers all about uh, sas library not all about means using sas library how can you get the list of all the columns from all the tables available in a particular session so just check that out that's going to be helpful and the same we're going to use over here right so data we're going to say variables this is the table name which we are going to create and we're going to say sas help dot v column so this particular tables gives you the list of all the columns in a given table okay and from this we want to select this particular variables what are those what all those are those are going to be lib name meme name and then name lib name is library meme name is table name and name is nothing but the columns name okay then what else we're gonna run this but here we want to put a filter we want to select the columns only for table 2 okay because we will do the renaming for that particular table only okay so here we're gonna say upcase date sorry meme name equals to up case sorry up case and in that we're going to use this particular table so i'll just explain you what exactly we want to see is from this particular table we want to select all the variables which are available in this particular table okay so this is default table which comes in sas li sas help library okay so this will give us the list of columns available in this particular table that's why we put this particular condition now 
there is another thing what is it so when you do the renaming it will rename to this particular column also but if it is renamed then we won't be able to merge it because we don't have any common column right so we have to skip this particular column so to skip that we're gonna say if what is it name sorry i will again say upcase upcase name not equals to again upcase and then inside that i am going to use merge key so you remember over here in merge key we are supplying this type column to which we don't want to rename then do and over here we're gonna just end this particular patch i mean this do condition okay now after this what exactly we want to do is we want to create the rename string rename string and in that the value which we want to store is the rename syntax how we how we do the renaming so to do, to do the renaming what we do is we first write the original variable name the base variable name and then we write the syntax how we want to rename that so for that we use equals to sign right and then we put the value to which we want to convert it i means x if the variable original variable name is x to which we want to rename as y then the, here we will have we will have to write y okay so for that uh, what we want is we want to okay just get, uh, let me explain you so we want to rename it msrp underscore fib invoice underscore fib what fib is that's nothing but the second table name right so here we want to concatenate the second table name okay so for that we first used to we first have to use the name which is nothing but the variable name you don't have to confuse to be confused okay it's very simple and then here we're gonna use meme name all right so this is done rename string is also created now let's see how does this looks like so what i will do is i'll do the print of this particular table which we just created and let's run this so this is the table i'm just going to print for you just to see if everything is right or not what do you think is it right there is some error let's see what's the error oops what is the error line and column cannot be determined lib name meme name okay i forgot to put the keep statement over here here we just need to say keep Alrighty, you please don't do this kind of mistakes. Again, there is some error. What is? Mm, let's check that out. So, the silliest mistake which I did is this. Okay, so here we had to write the data, and I will also do one thing. What I will do is I will just use compress function because if you do this kind of concatenation, it unnecessarily takes the spaces. Okay, so now if you see over here. So this is created. This is exactly what we just created. This kind of string. So once this string is created, the renaming will be simple. Renaming can be done very quickly. Okay. Now this is done. What we're going to do next is, let's see what is it that next we have to do. So here it says store that in a macro variable. So this particular thing, it is asking us to store in a macro variable. So for that, what we can do is we can use proc SQL. I've created a separate video for this particular thing also, how to create the macro variables. Just check that out. Okay. Link is given in the description section. Select this. I will also use select distinct just in case you get the duplicate things, right? Select distinct rename strings into rename strings this time i'm going to change the name so notice the name is different here it is string and here it is strings okay and then we're gonna say from variables this is the table which we want to be using over here right so now this particular thing is also created but one thing which you need to do is say separated by space okay now let's try to print this and see if this is fine or not because you see we keep on making the mistakes so we're gonna say put rename string this particular thing we will just print it and we will see if that is perfectly fine i mean the way we want whether it is like that or not so i will just 
put some extra values over here just so that it differentiates now let's go to the log and see yeah so you see these values are stored over here so this is sorted this is also done and it is going perfectly fine now next thing which we need to do is rename the variables in table 2 okay so this is the table and in this we want to rename that so for that what i'll do is to be on safer side i'll create another table which is called data 3 and i'm just going to set lib and then data 2 okay and here what we're gonna do is we have to rename it okay so i'm just trying to or just the spacing so that it will be visible to you okay rename and here all that you need to do is just use this particular thing because syntax is written into this okay now this this is done let's run this and try to proc print this proc print data equals to data 3 and run let's try and see if this is exactly what how we want it to be right because we keep on making the mistakes let's run this and let's see if that's renamed oh that's perfectly fine so if you see except type column everything is renamed right now let's move ahead and do the merging next step which it says is merge the tables so for that you all know how to merge that if no if you don't know that then check out the link given the description section and showing over here as well okay data i'm going to say merged and here i will do merge data sorry i will have to say lib and then i will have to say data one and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say data three the table which we just created over here because that's what has the renamed variable if you use data 2 that will not work because that will again do the overwriting okay by merge key merge key and then you just run this and then i will print it to show it to you but in your case the data will be huge in size so don't print that okay and then run you see the one mistake which i was making is i was not putting this thing okay so now let's run this and see what do you think is it going to work let's see that oh it looks like it worked yeah so here it it just worked. you see this is these two columns are from the data one table and these two columns are from the data two table so this is exactly what we wanted if you want to have a look at the code see the code looks like this i will just make it smaller oops this is too small so this is how the code is looking like okay if you require i'll just put this code on github and i'll give you the link also so that you could use this for a reference right and this is how the day output we wanted to have right so this is done and this is how you can use this macro to merge two columns without overwriting the common columns now the next task for you is to do the same thing but you have to avoid these two columns means you have to skip these two columns in output i don't want to see these two columns so i just hope that it was clear to you and you understood this thing so i would just recommend you do that exercise which i just said and practice this as much as you can then only you will be able to understand until then happy learning wish you very all the best